Milidi fans, what's going on? Tough week, bit of correction, totally normal. You have to tolerate it. On the four hour, we potentially have a floor. Again, it's a nice entry point, but I know that the sentiment is not great. We have a death cross here that confirmed this bearish trend line on the four hour. You see here we got a golden cross here that allowed us to go higher then we peaked and now it came back so this is just normal fluctuation within the progression of mid 80. we are near this trend line you will see it more clearly on the daily chart the volume is on the low side not a lot of activity so it's just a waiting game at this stage to see when the break out will happen it's the same thing for Bitcoin everybody's freaking out because they cannot wait a few days or a few weeks you just have to be patient for those who are complaining that they didn't get in earlier or they couldn't add up coins to their portfolio use this corrective period to add to your positions that's pretty much it is the bull run done no Historically, it is not the case. You just have to tolerate the boring part, the corrective part, or when nothing happens. If you don't have money to add to your positions, just wait. Move away from the market for a while. It's going to be like this for uh, the next few weeks. You just need to tolerate this boring part it's part of investing. People want to get rich quick. It doesn't happen that way. Only the patient people who keep their coins, tolerate the downsides, tolerate the boring parts, get the results at the end. That's pretty much it. Do as you wish. For those who are new to technical analysis, it is normal to find support on the ME200 more reliably than the MA50. As you see here, we broke the MA50 on the way down, broke it on the way up, corrected on the way down, broke on the way up, broke on the way down. So this is a more short-term trend line. But the MA200, once we're up, we didn't touch it again, continue, corrected, didn't touch it, corrected, didn't touch it, corrected, and we are at the MA200. So if you want to see the tendency of an asset long term, it's the ME200 that you want to follow. In this case, it's up to the right. It's not extremely steep. It usually is not extremely steep, but it gives you the tendency. If it, tar if it turns to be flat, then you need to be warned that maybe something is going on. And if it goes down, normally, it's not going to go down for just a period of time. It could be for a while. Therefore, that's an amazing signal to get out. If you look at Bitcoin or other bigger assets, if you look at the MA200, you see that the price rarely touches those levels and usually supports are held or broken. And once they're broken, they're broken for a long time. So in this case here, it's not a coincidence that the trend line goes through the ME200, that the price somehow has stopped at the ME200, and also the volume has died down at the ME200. If we see a big bounce here on Milady Mean Coin, it's going to be extremely bullish, and we will continue this trend line upwards. Keep that in mind, the ME200 is the long-term price or acceleration of price up to the right that the asset is following. If the price shoots very fast, very high, then the slope of the ME200 will tilt upwards and it's going to adjust to a higher slope. Therefore, the price of the ME200 will increase quicker after that push. So that's how you need to see it. Some people follow a lot the ME200 because it allows them to see when an asset is cheap versus expensive. So if the price is way above the ME200, 
usually usually it's going to mean revert meaning that it's going to correct and get near the MA200 we see it here multiple times the quicker you go away from the MA200 the quicker you'll correct and that's usually what you see but the tendency is always upwards in this case for Milady so it's bullish we have corrected quite a bit so in my view we're oversold and we are at support we should expect a bounce here for Milady meme coin and on the weekly you see the ma 50 here on the weekly chart that is below the trend line and the candles therefore rarely or so far it has not touched the trend line when correcting on the weekly chart that's another level of support but in this case the slope of the ma 50 is up and to the right so the sentiment for milady meme coin is bullish always go with the big trend line and ma 200 ma 50 if you are looking at the weekly if you don't have the ma 200 data that will give you an idea of the status of the asset if the ma 200 is going down do not get into it, the asset unless you're shorting the asset because the long-term tendency is down if you want to detect some kind of bottom you need to wait until the ma 200 turns flat and then when you see a breakout and it's going to eventually make the ma 200 change direction once you see a change in direction the ma 200 then you have bigger chances of success of getting in near the bottom you're not going to get the bottom near the bottom and it's going to be a safer entry for you that's how you need to look at ta in the case of milady it's still bullish we are in bull market i'm still accumulating here and there i added this week milady meme coin a little bit more it's not a lot I think it was $30 or something like that. It's not a huge amount, but I'm adding when we see big corrections at great prices because you don't know how high it will go eventually when everything goes crazy. And that's what I'm preparing for. And that's why I have a few memes that I invest in, a few technical coins with a lot of potential and the big ones which are solana ethereum and bitcoin that's pretty much my portfolio i hope you enjoyed this video look at calmly you don't need to be trading every single day if you want to go ahead but it's not my style of investing i select a few assets select the fastest ones the ones that have higher success of going up and to the right i invest I add to my position and I am patient and I wait and I do not use leverage. Those are all my pointers for you guys. It's not financial advice. You can decide what to do with your assets, but that's how I look at things in a simple way. You don't have to make it complicated. Simple It's usually better to manage, easier to interpret easier to deal with and it allows you to think clearly when you have a plan for your assets hope you enjoyed this video see you on the next one